So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Microsoft Copilot in Outlook to schedule meetings. It's a new feature. Is it going to revolutionize your workday? Is it a nice to have? Is it worth the license fee currently over £300 a year to get this? Let's have a look in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director at MeTime, where we help organizations save their employees time at work, increase well-being and increase sales. If you're interested in working together, then book a call. Use the link in the description below. So let's get into it. This feature is we're in Outlook on the web and it's definitely available in Outlook on the web. That's Microsoft seems to prioritize new features coming out in Outlook on the web. And what's been available in Outlook for Copilot for a little bit of time is summarizing your emails. So if you're in an email, they've got this summarized by Copilot box. That's going to change. So it automatically summarizes your email and sticks it right in the preview. So you can get a gist of what your email's going to be about. That's coming later in the year. But the bit that we want to talk through today is this little hidden button here, which doesn't have a Copilot icon, a normal Copilot icon, which is scheduled with Copilot. So I've just done a webinar with Node IT. Thanks for those that came to watch. If you haven't, it's available on YouTube through Node's channel and shortly on mine. So subscribe if you want to see that one when that comes out. But we were going backwards and forwards trying to sort out this webinar. Molly did loads of stuff to sort it out. And we were mostly in Teams, but also then jumped into email where we want to share some files that we couldn't put in chat because we're external companies. So just using Molly's email as an example, say that we had a bit of an email trail and we wanted to arrange a meeting just to get something done quicker and going backwards and forwards on email, you can click this schedule with Copilot button. It's going to jump out another window, put the people in that are from the email. It will have found a time that's suitable for me. So it picks the next best time that it can do. If that other person was internal or not external, it would have picked a time that suited both people because it can see into their calendar as well if you're internal and you've got your calendar opened up which i'd recommend but it also then puts in the attachment of the original email for you comes up with an agenda based on that email trail so confirm availability for the webinar discuss the webinar presentation give a headshot that's exactly what molly was asking for to get that webinar sorted and then summarizes the conversation so far all in the body of the meeting invite you can just click yeah, that's cool. Insert it and it'll just turn that back into the invite. So you don't need to accept what AI is saying. But in this instance, it was pretty good. Um, and all we do is hit send and the meeting invite is sent. So let me know in the comments, is that going to speed up your workday? You could have done something similar before by dragging the email into your calendar. You have to pay for this feature. It's a Microsoft 365 Copilot one and not a free Copilot one. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And before you leave, you might want to check out all these other Copilot videos as well as this video right here. But remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And thanks for watching so far. We'll see you in the next one.